Thank you, right honorable speaker, distinguished colleague, Chief Thomas Iruito is my name. Mr. Speaker, I represent the people of Wari South, Wari North, and Wari Southwest. Mr. Speaker, I'm from Delta State. Mr. Speaker, distinguished colleague, I rise to move for a motion on the need to revisit the dredging of the Scravos Bar, Wari, Coco, and Saplet Port. The House notes that the report that the Nigeria Port Authority dredged the Escravos Channel in Delta State in 2018. The House also is aware that the Escravos Bar was reportedly not dredged beyond the depth of 7.5 meters due to the presence of the oil pipes belonging to Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, NMPC. The House is concerned that due to the high rate of slitation, the depth of the Scrabble's bar has drastically reduced to the approximate of 3.9 meters. The house is also concerned that the Wari, Coco, and Sapler port have still not recorded improved traffic from the high tonnage vessel carrying petrol and other commodities. And as such, the vessel needs to wait for a high tide or risk running aground. The house is worried that in a bid to avoid paying dumerage, most petrol carrying vessels which had ventured into the Scravos bar in the recent time have suffered damage. The house is worried that most time that most mari maritime business have either crumbled or been relocated to the already crowded and overstretched Lagos port, which has a negative impact on the economy of Delta State and Nigeria. Cognizant of the capacities of Wari, Coco, and Sapler Port to create employment opportunity and create and curb youth restiveness and other social biases within Delta states, the Niger Delta region and Nigeria when function in full capacity. The House is therefore resolved, one, to call on the federal government to dredge the Scrabble's bar beyond the 7.5 meter depth to improve traffic of high tonnage vessel. Two, all the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, NFPC, to relocate the oil pipeline along the Wari Bar. Three, mandate the committees on port and harbor to ensure compliance. Mr. Speaker, I so move. Mike. I'm going to point to your mic. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker, respected Honorable Colleagues. My name is Julius Barbos of Pondi. I represent the very good people of Bukipura Constituency, Mr. Speaker. In Zonkeme, I'm from Delta State. I rise to second the motion this morning, ably moved by my colleague, Honorable Thompson Ereo Tomi. Thomas Ereo Tomi, I still second, Mr. Speaker. Looks like an uh, infrastructure motion and it's straightforward. Yes, sir. Amendment? Yes, sir. Honorable Johnson. We have microphone issues today. Go ahead. Just manage. I rise to. 
were amended as follows that they are, I mean, the inclusion of a papa port, there's a segment along that corridor that needs to be dragged to improve traffic uh, flow there. So I want to include a papa port in prayer one, where he said, call on the federal government to dredge Escavos Bar and a papa port. Honorable Adebanjo, you want to second the amendment? I, Olufemi Adebanjo, representing Alimosho Federal Constituency, rise to second the motion moved by Honorable Johnson that her papa should be included. Thank you, sir. Those in favor, please say aye. Those against say nay. Ayes have it. Those in favor of the motion, please say. Another amendment? Julius? <laughs> 